Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the wireless redstone plugin. As the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to have redstone circuits that are wireless. So it uses one sign going to another sign and that will create a circuit. So I've got an example in front of me. We have a lever and that's connected to these lights over here by the signs. So if I were to flip it on, what's going to happen? The lights are going to go on and the sign turns into a redstone torch. And then if we flip it back off, it goes back to a sign and we can just play with it on and off and it works normally like a redstone circuit would. So then we have a button connected to this sign. So this is the second circuit. And as you can see, the doors in the distance open briefly and then when it loses power, they shut. Finally, we have a button that connects to some TNT and that's gonna set it off and create a big explosion over here. So there it is, it's really easy to use, very simple, and let's go over here and create a circuit of our own now. So to get started, we're gonna put a sign down and put square bracket WR followed by a T, this is going to be the transmitter, and on the second line, we're going to name our circuit, so SM. Once we've done that, it will say we've created a new channel, and we can put down something like a door or piston, and next to that, we can put a sign, now on this, this needs to be the receiver, so WR, another R, and obviously in square brackets, the second line put SM, and then if we put a lever down and pull it, it's going to work as a circuit. So this is simply how you would create just a normal circuit. Obviously you can add more than one thing, so you would add another receiver over here if you wanted a second piston, for example, and you'd put SM so it all links together. And what we could do, we could put even more. So if you wanted a third uh, link in the uh, circuit, for example, we could put down a redstone lamp. So go ahead and pop that down. And obviously when we flip the lever, it's going to turn everything on and it's going to work perfectly like that. It's just going to turn them into redstone torches and power everything. So if we don't want one anymore, all we need to do is just destroy the sign and that will get rid of it. So if we do forward slash wireless redstone lock and then a channel name, we can lock it to be on or off. So as you can see here, I've locked it off. So if we hit the button, nothing's going to happen. If I unlock it and then turn it on and lock it again and then destroy the lever, it's going to stay on like this. So another really cool command is the activate command. So if you do wireless redstone activate, followed by a channel name and then the amount of time in milliseconds, the minimum is 50. So what that will do is just turn it on using the command for the amount of time that's specified. So if we do a thousand milliseconds, it'll stay on briefly. Uh, we could do a uh, hundred milliseconds, which will be a really quick flash. And we could do 10,000, which is quite a long time. And that is another useful command that you can use. So that is pretty much everything in the plugin. As you can see, it's really well made. It works very, very well. And it's just a really awesome and useful plugin. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. There's good information here on the various things you can do. And if you have an issue, make sure you contact the developer with it. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.